Josh, congratulations on being a club captain for the next season. How much does that mean to you? Well, listen, I'm absolutely delighted and honoured, you know, to to be asked to be captain for such a fantastic football club like this. And listen, I've had it before the armband, and it's something that you feel proud to wear, you know, and and to lead the team out. And it's something that some people, I think, can thrive off and give them that extra bit of buzz. And I'm one of those, and I can't wait to uh, obviously to put it on my arm and lead the team out. And uh, it's been a it's been a very good pre-season and obviously I've worn it once or twice in the pre-season games but I've just tried to focus on doing as well as I can for the for myself and for the team and to try and take us forward into the season and I have to be brutally honest I wasn't thinking of it I was just trying to as I say concentrate and obviously the gaffer pulled me and uh, has asked me to be captain and as I say it's, there's, there's many words I could use but I'm very proud and honoured to be asked to be captain. And what does it mean to you to wear the armband? Does it change the way that you go about your game? Does it change anything you do in the dressing room? Um, it probably comes with a, a little bit more responsibility, you know, and uh, expectation maybe. But again, it's for me, you've got to be challenged in life. You've got to have competition. And, and, and this sort of thing is, is something that can make me stand up taller and, and, and push my shoulders back. And, and as I say, I keep using the word, but feel proud because it's nice, you know, that you you feel like you're the leader and you can and you can lead the team out. You're at the front and you're going to try and push all the way and pull everyone with you, you know, in the right direction. And I'm sure there'll be a few more sort of jobs, if you like, and things that I might have to deal with, and players and boys coming to me asking for opinions and me having to relate, obviously, with the staff. And it's something that I've always I've always had. I wore the armband as a as a youth team player, reserve player, and as I said, I've worn it as a, as a first team player, at previous clubs and. It, it, I keep saying it, it's something I'll get a buzz out of and I just I can't wait now to, to lead the team out uh, for the first game of the season hopefully and uh, and try and see us push on and be successful as a team. Another new signing, Anthony O'Connor has been named as vice captain, what, what do you make of that and how, how do you think that will impact Anthony's game? Yeah, and he's uh, very similar to myself, he's a talker, he's a leader and uh, the way he plays, he always wants to drive on and be on the front foot and and just like myself as well, he's a winner, you know, which we've got a lot. We've got a lot of winners in that changing room and obviously he signed similar time to me and we spent some time in the hotel and uh, so obviously I became quite close with him. And he's a great lad, he's uh, he's very energetic and I think it'll give him as well a lift and take him again, you know, to the next level and I'm sure he'd be very, very happy with that as well. And uh, together we can uh, hopefully try and lead the team in the right direction and, and, and become a successful side. A lot of the signings we have made this year have been on the younger end of the scale. So with a, a squad that's quite youthful, do you think it's important to have experienced players and that everybody assumes a more of a leadership role? Yeah, I think, listen, you, you, you get given the arm and you get named captain, vice captain, however you want to look at it, but you have to have leaders right the way through the team, you know, no matter what age, and the youngsters will learn off the more experienced boys and it's up to us to show them show them the right way you know, and set good examples, whether that be on the training field, on a match day, around the training ground, in the gym. You've got to pull each other in the right direction, you know, and you've all got to, you've all got to have the same goal, the same path, and that would be up to me and obviously the other senior boys to, to lead the, the younger boys and together. And you have to have a mix. You can't just have young, you can't just have experience. You have to have a mix, and I think the, the staff, the recruitment, everyone at the club have done fantastic in the signings they've made so far. And uh, I think we're, we're building a great squad here and training and the structure of everything about the whole place has been top drawer and I've really enjoyed it, you know, on, on my behalf the, the, the four or five weeks we've had in pre-season and this has just topped it off for me and I'm so excited now to get out there and 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 help this club back to where it belongs because the fans and the fan base that this club's got deserves it, you know, it's I've seen it already through pre-season and other things and the fans are massive, you know, and they've got to see what we're trying to do and I can only assure them from, from me and from the boys and the team, everyone at the club, we're, we're, we're pushing and striving to go in the right direction and we want to take this club back to where it belongs. And the first time that you leave Bradford City out will be on Saturday against Shrewsbury in our season opener. How much are you looking forward to that game? Really, really am. You know, and uh, it'll be, my, my family love coming to watch games and there'll be a few of them coming. They, they come every week and obviously we're pre-season. Games are quite local, obviously they've been up once, maybe twice, but they haven't seen quite enough as what they'd like and uh, it'll be a proud moment for them to see that and uh, I'm, but I've been excited for this game, this is pre-season's pre-season, you have to use it for what it is, you have to get fit, get together, get a, a togetherness you know and work on the things you need to work on and take into the season but Saturday's a real one, Saturday's when it really matters and 
it's all about the three points and that's why we're in it at the end of the day. We want to put smiles on people's faces and that be our fans and I'm, I'm hearing we're selling fantastic amount of tickets so far and long may that continue because the bigger support, the more support, the more vocal and loud they can be, the, our fans, that's only going to strive us on because I'm sure the more we bring it, it'll be, be more like the home team if you like with how loud I know and seeing they can be and so hopefully they can, they can keep coming in their numbers and with that we put in a good performance and and get the three points and the win and, and push on from there and hopefully the numbers keep rising.